Hi, my name is Paul and today I'm going to talk about how to rotate a model towards a target. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so we've got a little capsule here and I'm going to create a cube and just put it five. And let's just make sure we're on the right axes. That's the capsule. Right, okay, so that's roughly in line there. And there's a little script down here called aim. Let's take a look at that. And that's got a target, it's got a rotation point. And then in the update, we're going to find the position between them. And then we're going to rotate around that and then change our rotation to face it. Easy enough. So let's put the aim script on our cube. Let's call cube something more useful. And set the aimer oops that's the target and the rotation point is going to be ourselves now we run that and there we go we're pointing at it so we move that there we go good so um go back to some game assets that i'm using from filebase um, and this is a slightly old version of the model to be fair and they have updated it since so I'm actually using um, a model that's got a problem and it's now been fixed but anyway I think it's good to show you how I got around this problem so here's our little model bring it in this little model of a mech and this mech if we look at the skeleton right we've got a waist bone here and what we want to do is Oops, rotate that, he says. Somehow it is a waste. Oh, good in a scale, idiot. So I want to rotate the body like that to face the target. Okay. Now, the problem is, is that this hip, the parent hip, has already got a rotation on it. So that's going to mean that the calculation here is going to be slightly off. I'll show you what I mean. So we'll put the aim. So let's take this off here. Let's get rid of this now. We'll put the aim on the mech. So on the mech, our target is going to be our capsule still. And our rotation point is going to be the waist. So we run that. And you see that the mech's body is all twisted. And as the capsule moves, you know, it's just just not right at all. Completely the wrong direction. So what do we do about that? Well, what we can do is we know that the cube works. So let's put that into the mech. I'll just open this. For now, put the cube in there. Okay, and then our, our target still remains that, and our rotation point is now going to be the cube. So, what does that look like? Just make sure that is zeroed off. Yep. Okay, so the cube is now pointing to the capsule, even though it's a child of the mech. And we move and that's exactly right. Obviously, we're not affecting the mech yet. So what we can do is we can come down to the waist and we can add a component called a parent constraint. We'll make it active. Give it a weight. It says, what's its source? Its source is going to be the aimer. And then we run. And then as the capsule moves you can see the body is following it so he's running but his point his body bit is pointing towards the target and to make that a little bit clearer go to the cube aimer take the mesh render off go to the capsule lost the capsule there we go So 
there pretty sweet so even though the bone here was completely sort of off on different angles um, we didn't have to do anything with our script to try and offset the angle calculation which um, I don't know about you but my 3d mass just starts to break when I have to do things like that so I think this is quite a, a neat little trick using these parent constraints I hope you found that helpful thanks